it's funny you should say that, Adam, because we we similar story to yourself, accidental landlords, put a tenant in because you couldn't sell, etc. etc. Um, and I actually found the thing that's really helped me massively is understanding the finance. Because yeah. I understand property, I know a good deal, I get how lettings work, but the finance has always been this like elusive change yeah. the goalposts, you know, yeah. if things are available, then they're not, then the rates change and all the rest of it. And the finance for me, I've just become like a little sponge. You just want to absorb everything to do with finance. Do you know, it's really, it's really good point because I think there's a lot of people who, so I, I've written some, some articles for Property Investor News about the four things that I think are the most important things to be successful in property. And yeah. of course, one of those, one of my four pillars of investing is finance because so many people are sort of mystified by it. And it is such a, and there's so much noise out there that's just wrong on social media. And you see it and you just think, if you spent your day you could spend your day going around correcting people for saying things that are incorrect. But, but some of that is because it's, it is complex and it's always moving. But that un- understanding of that bit is really what, un- as un- for me, has unlocked being able to scale a big portfolio in a short space of time, you know? So what? So 110 properties in two years doesn't happen accidentally anymore. How did you, <laughs> how did you kind of get started on that, you know, to go from like a handful of properties to suddenly doing it at a volume? Yeah, so when I first sort of started taking it seriously, I had a bit of capital and I did the classic mistake where I spent all the capital and on, on mortgages uh, with, on leveraged properties on the way in and then I had no capital left, as you can imagine. So then that's the point I really had to sort of start learning and, and also joint venturing with people. But it was really when I think back to the sort of back end of 2016, I went out to uh, Fiona Talbot's Marbella Mastermind as a as a delegate, and I was sitting there in I was sitting there, you know, feeling pretty good out in the out in the, out in Marbs <laughs> and thinking I've, I've done a pretty good job because at the time I, I'd I say I but I've also I have got joint venture partners uh, behind me as well, but I, I'd done the legwork and I built up a, prop, a portfolio of about 40, 45 properties, so not to be sniffed at. Not too it was it was that week that really made me realise that actually I could have done so much more. In the, you know, we've gone from there, 2011, where I started taking it seriously, to the end of 2016. So that's you know, that's six years worth of work, um, and I just thought I could have done so much more. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, if you've liked it, please do drop it a like below um, the video. Apart from boosting our ego, it also tells us the kind of content that you're finding useful. And we want to produce good quality content to suit the needs of our audience. If you've got any questions or any comments or anything you want to say, obviously you can do that in the comments section below as well. Please do subscribe to our website, to our YouTube channel as well, because once you're a subscriber, you'll be alerted every time we upload a video, which is once or twice a week. If you've got a Facebook account, um, then please do also follow us on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page, but we've also got a number of Facebook groups. We're on all the social media platforms, but Facebook is the place that we like to hang out the most. So our free group is called Inside Liverpool Property Community, and that's where we chat all things Liverpool and all things property. Um, it's full of people like yourselves, other investors who are local to the city, some who are not local, and also some property professionals as well. You can get lots of good advice and referrals in that group, so please come and join us. If you think you'd like to work with Inside Liverpool on a closer level, then please do find um, details of all the things that we offer on our website. Our website is www.inside-liverpool.co.uk. That tells you all about our services and exactly how much they cost. Um, and you can find out more about how we can help you and how we can tailor our services to you. If you've got a question about anything, then the free group on Facebook is probably the best place to contact us. But if you're ready to make that step forward and you want to start working with us, then please do drop us an email. It's hello at inside-liverpool.co.uk. Email is our preferred form of communication and we always try and get back to people within a couple of days. Have a really good rest of the week and I'll speak to you all very soon. Thank you.